Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to wash the very dirty 17 year old Range Rover L322 um, using these products and wait till the end to see what I think of these products um, and bearing in mind this is the first time I've ever washed a car manually. So the kit we're using today to get this situation going is a step ladder because obviously the old range is a little bit tall and I will put it into access mode um, but I'm short so I'll probably still need it anyway. A watering can two buckets and also glim life shine kit and also some uh, rubber gloves so we haven't done a range rover video in a while and um it's just because um life has been incredibly busy um so as you can see um the old 17 year old l322 i've now called her doug um a genderless name <laughs> um at the suggestion of one of um, my viewers um it seems to make sense um, so you can see that um, the car is still in pretty good nick. Um, I'm going to do an update actually um, very shortly on the cost of a six month update on the cost of running uh, the old Range L322 because obviously they come with a lot of maintenance and I know people are very curious to understand what those costs are. I know I was um, before I bought this. Um, it's not that tragic actually so um, watch out for that video coming soon but there she is. Jim, what do you think of the car? Jim. So it's done and I'm very pleased with the results, although it took a very long time. Um, honestly, this is not something really to kind of like do to save money because it completely kills your time. This probably took me about four hours in total. Um, but <laughs> Jim thinks he's going somewhere, but he's not. Um, so you can see everything looks spick and span. Um, it's all gleaming. I've managed to kind of like get everything done. Um, probably not as well as it should be, but honestly, I mean, I'm quite proud of the results. Right, so as you can see here, there's lots of brake dust, which is very difficult to get rid of. Um, I've taken it to be professionally clean and they won't touch it because it might ruin the rims. So I have a trick that um, I found on YouTube. Um, I'll put a link to the guy in the description. It's kind of like this um, amazing handy guy. Lots of tricks on kind of um, driving and tips on looking after your car. But let's see if it works. So basically you're supposed to just get some toilet duck or um, you know, whatever this toilet cleaner is and kind of like pop it on. And it's supposed to just be able to get rid of this stuff very easily. So it is actually working. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of like leave it to sit for a while. 
several hours later and the car is now clean. Now to give my full um, review of the Auto Gleam system, generally speaking, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, there are definite pros and cons to cleaning your car yourself. Um, the biggest con is that it is a killer of time. Uh, maybe if you're used to washing cars or you've washed your car all your life or you have a smaller car, um, you know, it might not take um, such a long time, but it just took me um, a good few hours to do inside and outside. And honestly, like, although I'm satisfied with the result on the outside, it's not as good as it could be um, with the wax and the rest of it. Um, the Auto Glim products themselves are absolutely brilliant. They were a breeze to use. They worked um, superbly. Um, you know, the only things that I was disappointed with was my elbow grease, actually. So um, generally speaking, I think it's a real um, a brilliant system. I think it's about £75. There will be a link in the description if you want to buy it and um, detail your car yourself. I think um, that's good value for money because I didn't use a lot of the products. So um, I'll get several washes out of it. Um, and um, I feel like the finish is far superior to what you get in a normal kind of like car wash. Um, obviously, this is not kind of like a complete detail. Um, you know, um, I'm not that thorough. But one of the advantages of washing your car yourself is that you really kind of like see exactly what's going on with it. And actually, when I, I remember, so I've always wanted um, a Range Rover um, L322. And when I first test drove one, um, I was kind of like frightened a little bit by the size of it. It just seemed big and cumbersome and, you know, just um, scary, actually. And although I had this great ambition to, um, you know, um, get one and repair it myself over time, um, you know, at that moment, I was just kind of like not really feeling that vibe. And honestly, um, I don't think I will be repairing my car myself moving forward just because um, I found a very good local um, mechanic who specialises in um, Range Rovers. Um, and this garage, they've got like hundreds and hundreds of years of expertise between them. Um, and I trust them also. And they're reasonably priced. So there's no need for me to kind of ruin this car, which is in very good condition. Um, with my, um, you know, um, amateur tinkerings. Um, what I will say, though, when you wash the car yourself, you kind of like see every inch of it. And actually, this car is 17 years old. It's kind of new to me. I've had it for six months. Um, I'm just about to do a six month review, actually. So watch out for that. Um, but what I've noticed is that over the 17 years, it's had two previous owners. And you can see where, um, for example, maybe um, some leather has been chipped, where they've carefully restored it. Um, or where there's kind of like a nick or a scratch, where they've just carefully, you know, um, put it back together. And you can really see the detail and the intimate kind of, um, the intimate detail really of how people have looked after this car. And it is very well looked after. So now it's in my hands. Um, it's just kind of like up to me to kind of like keep it going um, for as long as humanly possible. And I mean, I think I'm going to make a video at some point about old, old car versus new car. Um, obviously, the advantage of an old car is that you own it outright and, um, you know, all the liability. Yes, it is on you. Um, but, you know, it's a lot more affordable um, if you're going for like a, a 15, 16, 17 year old car. Like this particular car can be picked up for, um, you know, about three or four thousand pounds. Um, I paid a lot more because it is in perfect condition. Um, but if you're of the mind to kind of just get one and do what it requires to bring it up to standard, that's how much you can get in um, for. So, um, I think I'm going to do a video because driving this around, um, it is basically practically like driving a brand new car. The only thing that gives me anxiety is um, a, a fault on the dashboard, which is about tyre pressure of the spare tyre. Apparently, that's a common fault with these cars, especially of this age. It's nothing to worry about at all. So, I mean, it's fine. And actually, as you all know, one of the reasons I bought this car is because um, I want to be able to go on road trips with my um, Greyhound dog, Jim, and my modern family and my partner. Um, and we've done a, a few kind of like mini road trips over landing so far. But what I really want to do is get out to kind of like Italy and, um, you know, a few times a year. And I still am a bit nervous about that. But speaking to my garage, they suggest that actually, um, you know, as long as it's serviced, which this is, as long as it's in good order, which this also is, um, it's not a problem whatsoever. So I guess basically watch this space for a road trip um, video coming soon. Um, I am going to make more Range Rover L322 videos.
Um, I'm not sure if it's the right time of year to do that because obviously it's a summer. This is, um, it's an all-round car. It's an everyday driver for some people. But I think a lot of people get into these cars like I did in the winter. Um, but, you know, at least it'll be there for anybody kind of like doing a bit of research. But if you're thinking about buying an old Range Rover or possibly an old Land Rover, although I don't have any experience, although they're probably exactly the same thing, just do it. Um, jump in and, you know, know what you're letting yourself in for. There will be a lot of maintenance, but there is of any car this age. Um, and those main, that maintenance will be expensive. Um, but, you know, relatively speaking, um, this is actually probably, even though I paid a premium um, for something in very good condition, probably much cheaper to run than a brand new car. Um, and over time, I'm driving a Range Rover, which can fit all my accoutrement and my modern family, um, and especially my big Greyhound X Racing dog gym. So um, if you like what you see, smash subscribe, leave comments. Um, I love interacting um, with the audience. If you like Greyhound dogs, actually, check out my shorts video. Um, you've got Jim, my big, tall, beautiful Greyhound dog, running around doing his thing um, over on there. Um, and um, check out the description for all of the products featured today. Um, they are available to buy. I do get a small commission um, if you um, want to buy one. So um, please feel free to do that. Um, and until next time, see you later.